The next Nigin is known as the Berdichever Nigin. Berdichev is a town in Ukraine where the Heliga of Levi Yitzchak of Berdichev, the great defender, is buried. It's said in the tradition that when someone is in a difficult moment, even saying Levi Yitzchak ben Sarasasha, saying Levi Yitzchak son of Sarasasha, that itself brings about a protection. That itself brings about a security. Rav Levi Yitzchak was known as the Berdichever, and the Berdichever was a tremendous defender of his people and would often petition God on behalf of those suffering. The Berdichever's work that we have is called Kedusha Slevi, and the Kedusha Slevi is filled with just unbelievable teachings, beautiful teachings. And also, like every other Hasidic Rebbe, the Berdichever <laughs> upheld cis heteropatriarchy and was a piece of shit. And we grapple with that. We don't exonerate it. And we compost that violence. There's a Torah from the Berdichever in his work, Kedusha Slevi, where he talks about how the Talmud says that we need to mimic the divine, the energy of the universe. And just like the divine is compassionate, when we are compassionate for ourselves and for others, we take on the quality of being godlike, of self-similar, of fractally related. And he says that the way that compassion is aroused is through our own actions. The way of the world is his sarissa dilatata awakening from below. And when we show compassion for ourselves and for other people, we thereby awaken the divine attribute of compassion, which then rains down on all life and ourselves. This nigan, the Berdichever nigan, is very simple. It's only two parts, but it's really powerful. And sometimes people apply words to it, taking the words of Rabbi Nachman of Breslov, Kol ha'olam kulo gesher tsar ma'od, as Rabbi Nachman taught, the entire world is a narrow, narrow bridge. The ikr lo lehispachid kla, and the main thing is not to be afraid of, your, of, of yourself when you're on that bridge. The narrow bridge is representing the uncertainty of our lives, the places where we're squeezed, the bridge is connecting two points of land, of certainty, of clarity, of stability, of non-vulnerability. And then our lives turn into that narrow, narrow, narrow bridge that we all have to cross. And in fact, all of life is that narrow bridge. It's that living in interdependence of trust, of vulnerability, of knowing that we need each other, of, of, of not pretending like the squeezedness of the human condition doesn't exist, but rather committing to being on that bridge together. So sing the nigan from the Buddhist verse, Chos Yagein Aleinu Meiz Mer, protect us. And Levi Yitzchak and Sar Sasha should provide protection for everyone suffering, everyone in need, everyone in pain. So the nigan goes as follows.
The words of Shalom Hisbachid Klal mean don't be afraid of yourself, trust yourself, trust that you can be on that narrow bridge, trust that that movement into the Arafel, into the fog, into the uncertainty is exactly the place, Asher Shamhu Elohim, is exactly the place where the personal experience of connectivity rests and lies within. And I've had the privilege of being to Berdichov at the gravesite of Rav Levi Yitzchak. And he's buried with his entire community, right in the middle. And that's the Berdichover. The Berdichover is Every single, per is, per, every single person is important because they're important. And the community is important because we need to care for each other. So we should be really zaycha, we should be blessed to try to have compassion for each other, try to have compassion for ourselves, to sing the, the nagunim, the melodies of the tzaddikim, and remembering that everybody rises and gets back up. The tzaddik is someone who falls seven times and gets back up each time. We all have the capacity to repair after harm. We all make mistakes because we're imperfect and it's what we do after those mistakes. And the tzaddik rises seven times. And we have the ability to be that in our lives. We should be blessed with the protection of those who came before us to be able to reveal new paths for those who come after. Chaim.